Not a single person from the Russian Republic of Altai has yet been drafted for the war in Ukraine. This war reported by a senator of the region, Vladimir Politaev. For almost three weeks of mobilization, 50 people came to the military registration and enlistment offices. Less than half of them signed a contract. And all of them are volunteers. Not a single conscript went to the so-called special operation from the village of Shiltozero. This is in Karelia. The indigenous people living in this territory, the Vepsians, are hiding from mobilization in the forests. In the Karelian village of Sholtozera, door-to-door visits have begun and summonses have been issued. Just at this time, the residents are leaving for berries in abandoned villages and hunters' lodges somewhere in the forests. Thus, the administration does not know exactly where the men are now. From a message of Baza Telegram channel. Citizens are motivated by money to go to war, but in Russian reality, to promise does not mean to pay. We have left our families and our homes. Some of us have children, wives on maternity leave. We have a question. Will there be payments as financial support for those mobilized? The Kremlin decided to shift the costs of assistance to the mobilized to the regional budgets. The situation in the regions is different. While in Hantimansisk region promises up to 300,000 rubles for every conscript, the government of Tuva is ready to pay with only potatoes, flour and a sheep. All articles of regional budgets are planned. Either the regions will have to sequester some budget items that belong to the regions, and this is healthcare, education, all these social services, or they will have to find additional funds. The prospect of being killed in the war and even without firm guarantees of payment does not inspire many Russians. Those who haven't managed to escape from the military commissars are tearing up their summonses, or simply does not appear in the military registration and enlistment office. The first criminal case for evading mobilization was opened in Penza. The suspect was detained with the forceful support of the riot police. From law enforcement officers, the man was hiding in the best house. Don't sign anything, not a single piece of paper. I'm not going to sign anything. The Penza region prosecutor's office later ruled that the initiation of criminal proceedings for evading mobilization was illegal. The investigative committee, however, plans to appeal this decision. This footage shows the building of the military commissariat in Krasnoyarsk. The arsonist was arrested. Now he faces imprisonment for a term of 10 to 15 years. There are more and more such arsons in Russia. As the experience of recent weeks has shown, a medical commission for service in the Russian army is not a mandatory condition. St. Petersburg resident Dmitry Nichaev is practically unable to walk due to diseases of the spine. But since there is no military medical commission, there is no certificate of ineligibility for service. He is not appropriate because of his health condition. He could die himself and others would die because of him. They will not drag him on a stretcher to the border, after all. Although, if they just want cannon fodder, they are certainly coping with their task. Julia, wife of Dmitry Denchayev in a command for North Realities. Since the beginning of the mobilization, which the Russians themselves called the mobilization to the graves, before reaching Ukraine at least 10 recruits died, three as a result of suicide. But the main cause of death for enlisted men is alcohol. They drink near the military registration and enlistment offices. This is the Kavalerovsky military commissariat. Here we are, all in such a condition. Before the road. and on the way to the front. The statistics prove that after the beginning of Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine, the Russians began to drink even more than before. In June alone they bought almost 11% more vodka than a year ago, and the Ministry of Health estimates the number of Russians with alcohol addiction at 1,200,000 people. Reported by Sergei Kulas, Valeria Nikipiova, UATV News.